Welcome to Wednesday, and what's good, internet? My name is Attack. Welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Everybody's Revenge on the PS4. You know the drill by now. This is what, episode 199? Tomorrow is episode 200? That's insane. Um, but I was informed yesterday by someone that I cannot go from rank 4 to rank 3 just by winning matches. I must be in a feud to go from rank 4 to rank 3. So that's unfortunate as it prolongs this video series even further. And so obviously my three choices here are Cesaro, Mizdow, and Domez. So uh, I will attack one of those gentlemen uh, as we move on here and fight Triple H on SmackDown. But let us see who is even available. We've got The Miz. Uh, we've got Randy Orton Kane. Nope, nope. Jericho, Debray, Owens. Alright, so I guess it's The Miz. Because otherwise, you know, I'm not going to wait around for more shows, for more guys to attack. So, I want to say we already had a Miz feud. But, I guess, unfortunately, we're going to have one again. Uh, so, that sucks uh, for me, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and we'll... You know, attack Mitch on the stage top and do that damn thing here on a fine Wednesday afternoon at this point. Here we are in Bloomington, Illinois. I've been there. I've been in Bloomington. Uh, I used to live in Peoria and I made some deliveries in Bloomington. Anyway, uh, nothing personal, Mike the Miz, but uh, I had to attack you. And once again, feud with your dumbass. Uh, although, there is something I, 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 I wanted to, uh, I forgot to mention on Monday Night Raw in my Raw reaction video. If you haven't seen that, it went up, went up a couple hours ago. But where was The Miz on Raw? Um, we got a Shining Stars vignette, but Miz said while he was filming the Marine 5, he would totally update us from the studio or, you know, from the set each week. And we got one last week, and we didn't get one this week. So what happened there? Why didn't we get The Miz uh, in his little, you know, heel update like he was on such a hot streak with that icy belt and those matches and things were going pretty good and now because he had to film a damn movie uh we're on the back burner here which which is unfortunate because uh i thought things were going real well and now i think i have to take a fucking has to take a sidebar which kind of sucks but no we still gotta have a vignette for the damn shining stars who are you know flopping pretty hard so how on earth did the Miz reverse that? That's nonsense. Why is he getting in his heat there? He's getting in hit getting in his his moves. Not cool. I don't appreciate it, Mike the Miz. Nope. I do not think so. Have a DDT on that solid steel entrance ramp. And then I assume we roll on to the Renee Young interview before going to fight Triple H. <laughs> Or at least that's, you know, my, my understanding of how this game works at, at, after this many episodes. Um, yep, there it is. The there show. she is. This hey, Renee, how you doing? Let's, Let's talk, talk about The Miz. Tonight, you what was the meaning of this? Uh, I need to be rank 3 is the meaning of this. <laughs> and I'm sick of his stupid face. This is the WWE. You make your own opportunity. Skip. You two have is this a rivalry? Yes, it is. Is this turning into a yes. rivalry for you? Yes. 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 I will not lose. You really look at it. Skip. Thanks for the time. Back to you, Cole. Thanks for the time. Back to you. All right, let us move on to this Triple H match, which honestly at this point is kind of inconsequential, but we're going to have it anyway, because uh, obviously that is a main event, right? That's a main event. No, wait. Wait, 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 just one single solitary second. As you can see, there is no indication of turning on or off the entrance. And you know what that means, guys? That means something will happen. Don't know what? Gonna hit X, and we're gonna find out. Is someone gonna attack me? Which I'm already now in a feud or a, a rivalry with The Miz. So... Anyone attacking me during this match is kind of futile, as it were. Uh, but I'll be curious to see how this pans out. Alright, who, who, who is going to attack me here, uh, still in Bloomington, Illinois? 
who has the audacity to jump me from behind. It's Miz Dow. I guess he's upset that I attacked his mentor, the Miz, or at least that's what would have happened. Uh, but I'm just going to hopefully uh, ignore all of his stuff with a nice uh, suplex there and tell him to eat it. I'm going to the ring. You know what? I'm going to the ring. Try and stop me. Zoop. Hey, ref. What's up? Boom. Leaving the ring. I can't get the steps? I wanted the steps. Oh, no. My face. My poor, cheesy face. Really, Ms. Dow? This is not going as intended. I don't see any reversal prompts. You're making me so mad. You're making me so mad. Have a power bomb to the outside, Ms. Dow, for interrupting what should have been a match with the King of Kings. I can't get the stairs. Fuck you. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, no. Uh, no. Punch him. Here we go. I don't know what my top rope sitting move is. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Is it just a superplex? Superplex. There you go. I don't know. Something. So that was a gigantic waste of my time. And once again, Renee Young, I am not in a Miz Dow rivalry. I attacked the Miz. I made that choice. So, you know... Something? I don't know. I'm doing something right. Skip. Back to you guys. She, she, she knows. I'm already in a rivalry. She knows. And we still haven't had a match today. That's been, uh, troubling. I was trying to have a nice short video here, and, uh, it's not really panning out the way I had anticipated it to be. But, let us, yep, yeah, back to fighting the Miz again. Destined to fight for all time. Here we are with Neville on Superstar. That's, that's an appropriate place for Neville. At this, at, at this point, I guess, I don't know, this is, you know, back a while ago. Um, and I can totally attack the Miz. I won't. I can. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to get this video done today. We're already, like, I'm sitting here looking at this clock here, and it's already, uh, getting up there, so. Okay, now I can start my actual Wednesday discussion. What's going on, guys? Uh, first and foremost, I don't know who or where I read yesterday that Dolph Ziggler was the seventh guy in Money in the Bank. Clearly, he is not. Uh, as, you know, I did watch Raw, and I haven't heard anything from, like, I, 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 I read the, uh, SmackDown spoilers, so I don't know who told me that. And, uh, as you may have seen over on Grimm's Toy Show, uh, it has been kind of a hectic week, and so, I just, I saw it somewhere, and was like, oh, that must be true, that sounds like a dumb thing that they would totally do. Uh, but apparently they are not, it is just those six guys, so, my apologies for any kind of misleading information in yesterday's video. Um, it was clearly something that I read and was not true, so I don't know who tricked me, but seriously, mad about it. Anyway, um, what else? Uh, tonight is TakeOver, uh, so we'll see how that changes the direction of NXT, if at all. Um, but it's called The End, and there was a lot of, you know, speculation in terms of that and SmackDown going live. But, they've already confirmed that there will be an NXT, uh, pay-per-view deal, uh, at the night before SummerSlam, so that is the same night as UFC 202, which is the same night that is supposedly the UFC debut of Mr. CM Punk, aka Phil Brooks. Anyway, um, there was a confirmation, uh, or not confirmation, but a, um, a mention that Nakamura is going to fight Kevin Owens at the WWE Japan, uh, house show July 2nd, and, uh, those guys certainly had a hell of a match in Ring of Honor, so uh, that should be great. But as far as I know, that is just a house show and is not being taped in any capacity that I know about. So those lucky fans in Japan get to see it, but not us. Uh, also, 
plenty of rumors about this whole Brock Lesnar thing in UFC and who or what the who or what WWE wants in exchange for that particular uh, fight happening. And uh, I'd heard rumors about Paige Van Zant, which is some female uh, strawweight division or something like like that. And I have no idea who that is. Like I, I went and looked it up. I was like, I still have no idea who that is. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if she's even a big enough name for that to even be important. Now, obviously, obviously, they want Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is the name you put in your, you know, mania promotional whatever material because uh, that is the name that, that will that will sell your fucking tickets and you know bolster your ad rate or your um network sub numbers right so uh i don't know if they're gonna have that page van zandt at SummerSlam. i guess that was the rumor uh you know in the crowd or something as they had this weird weird cross promotion as brock's getting paid this summer son he is getting paid by both Dana White and Vince McMahon. Uh, so, that's kind of what's going on there. I uh, don't really have anything else here on my sheet to really mention. Although, I do want to say, there was that rumor for a while that, you know, you had the returning Seth Rollins at pay-per-view. And then you had John Cena return, you know, the week after on Memorial Day. And the rumor was that somebody else uh, who was hurt, either Bray Wyatt or Randy Orton would be, would be returning on the Raw after that. Now that Raw was last, or th that Raw was this, this past Monday, and neither hide nor hair of Bray Wyatt or Randy Orton. So the question is, will they come back next week, or will they save either appearance or both for Money in the Bank on uh, the nineteenth, I believe? So, or do they just are, are those guys ready and healthy, and they just have no current? storylines would they certainly would they hold those guys off until the brand split or have them as part of the draft to have them return on the draft show as like a big surprise guy to have for your brand split draft like that certainly would make sense but uh you know i would expect to see those, those both those guys back soon because that brand split's happening and you need star power on both shows for that brand split that's just you know Common sense. But yeah, I was surprised to not see either guy on Raw this past Monday. And uh, I totally spaced out on mentioning that during my Raw reactions. So, my apologies. But, other than that, uh, not a whole lot else going on. Still a lot of speculation in terms of, you know, how the brand split's going to play out. And who's going to go where. And uh, all that good, good speculation. Which we're going to obviously, obviously learn more about in the coming weeks. Here, uh, oh, I thought I reversed that. Apparently not. Tilt a whirl DDT. Uh, what are you doing, Neville? That is not that is not your finisher, Neville. You gotta go to the top rope for that, Neville. Like, what are you doing? Don't think so. I'm going to do my my, my best here to prevent the red arrow from happening. Um, but my best might not be good enough, as we as we've seen here occasionally on this show. Yep, wrench the neck. Rope break. Rope break! First of all, where, where's that, that ref looking? That's, 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 that's the first thing there, come on now. Really? Reversed? Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, someone had said that I should change my comeback, which I've only gotten to work once and I still kind of half-failed half <clears throat> half it. I should turn my comeback to Cena's comeback, if that makes sense, so I will definitely uh, do that at some point. In the next couple days, uh, not that I've, you know, expected to get that to work that often, but you never know. Uh, certainly it is possible, but let's see if we can put away the man that gravity forgot and the man that injury remembered. And he kicks out. He kicks out. That's okay. That's okay, because I still have my usual Ebba... Oh. What diamond cutter? What the hell? This point doesn't have to do a diamond cutter, or an ace cutter, or an RKO, or whatever that was supposed to be. Nope, there's the Ebenezer. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I am looking for. Knees to the back. 
And there we go. One, a two, a three. And there you have it, Ebenezer wins again! And there we go, skipping out, messing with Swagger and The Miz, because kind of, who cares, I'm in the feud, and that means that I will eventually fight him at the next paper... Wait, what? No, usually you end the feud, you have to have a whole month to end the feud, I don't think this is going to end the feud, but hey! Stranger things have happened right here on this show, so tune in tomorrow for Fastlane, tune in tomorrow for episode 200, holy shit! I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching uh, more videos every day, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. In the mouth!